Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Tester Certification. As a part of this tutorial, we are still in Chapter 3, Testing in Virtual Environments and continuing with 3.2, Testing in Zill Test Environment. As a part of this, the last topic which we are covering and definitely we are going to have multiple parts of this as it is a long thing to discuss and a lot of details are required to be discussed and this topic is called as comparison of the Zill test environment fit together where we are going to compare every different environment for their lot of criteria and aspects. In today's tutorial, we are just getting started with basic criteria comparison and measuring them in different Zill test environments. So this topic is basically labeled as advantages and disadvantages of testing in Zill test environments, which covers mill, sill, and hill. The tester here understands the attribute of the different test environments. In doing so, he can understand and assess the advantages and disadvantages of testing in each environment. The criteria are basically shown here in the table. But before that, I hope you remember that in the previous few tutorials, the last two and three tutorials, we have understood about the details of mill, sill, and hill. And as a part of that, we have also understood what exactly these test environments are for and what their capabilities are, which will help them to determine certain activities. But now, this is the point where we are going to understand more about the same in order to relate them to various criteria. So here is a list of criteria which we are going to understand and their impact on the mill, sill, and hill environment. So if you talk about the very first that is closeness to reality, how close these environments are to the real environment. So mill is low, sill is low to medium compared to the some of the executions like compiled real software can be executed. And hill is highly really close to the real environment, integrated systems and able to run the real time test cases here. When it comes to time and effort of debugging required, of course, uh, in mill environment, it is low because it just has a model and definitely you can uh, do a lot of easy things happening here at the mill level. Defects found in the model of the test system are easy to manage. Uh, when it comes to cell, it is medium. Of course, defects found in program software. So program adjustment is another thing which need to be done here. And when it comes to hill, it is high. Defects found in system level. Of course, system adjustment is the one which is required to rectify the defects. And of course, it will take comparatively more time than other test environments. Effort for implementation and maintenance is low in MIL. So that's more better to be used here because, of course, we are just talking about creating environment models. So it's very lightweight and does not have anything heavy to deal with. When it comes to SIL, it is medium creating environment model and wrapper. So of course the effort required is slightly higher than the mill, but not as high as hill because high requires creating environment model and wire the hardware components, everything put together to run a particular execution test. That's not all. If we continue further, there are some more criteria which we would like to discuss here. Effort for test preparation is low in mill. Again, environment can be set up quickly. So the test cases in turn will also be, you know, quick and fast to be executed. Sill is medium. Environment can be set up quickly here as well. But when it comes to hill, design, implementation and evaluation of tests require high effort because it requires to manage everything in terms of executing an end-to-end -end test from the system point of view. The next criteria is necessary level of maturity of the test item. Uh, what kind of level of maturity we need for a particular test item to be executed as a part of mill, cell, and hill. So for mill, it is low. System models are simulated, so nothing much has to be done. But in cell, it is medium. Initial function are tested with the target software. And when it comes to hill, of course, it is high. One or more executable electronic control units or partial systems are tested as entirely as possible. So more of like system driven does require, of course, uh, more maturity of the product which you're trying to test, like the test item, be it anything. Necessary level of details of the test basis, of course, deriving your test cases and the information which you're referring from the specification, what kind of impact does it have on these three environments? So of course, there's nothing low here. Everything at least starts with a medium. Uh, when it comes to mill, it is medium without complete specification models are tested that even partially contribute to the ascertainment of the specification. When it comes to sill, it is medium to high depending on what type of software configurations you are having. So the relevant information on software level must be available. 
and detailed component specification as well to assist your execution and preparation of the test scenarios and test cases. When it comes to Hill, of course, it is absolutely high. Requirements can be tested on the system level, so all the details required from the point of overall system. So complete system specification must be necessary here and must be well maintained. If in case you do not have that, definitely you will not be able to execute your test cases or have complications when it comes to Hill test environment. And finally, the access to the test item. What kind of access do we have in regards to the test item here? So MIL, of course, high because the model is very simple and straightforward. So all signals in the model can be observed and controlled. So thus access to the test item must be very high here because not model consists of all the equipments and the information what you need in order to run the test. In cell, it is medium. So only the signals available in the wrapper can be observed and controlled. So of course, uh, access to the test items are quite less. And when it comes to hill, it is low because in the hardware or communication protocols can be observed and controlled. So you don't need any access to the test item directly and you will definitely be able to manage everything right from the environment itself. Well, so that's all we just wanted to cover as a part of this tutorial. Of course, this tutorial is quite long and we will be covering them into a few other parts of this. So we would like to spend a little quick time to understand everything in more detail. So stay tuned for that. We will be getting back to you with the part two of this section to understand more better the remaining part of it. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. And definitely I'll be always there to answer your questions very well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.